In this video, I want to show you how you can make a beautiful line drawing of the figure without having to do sighting and measuring or create complex construction lines. Welcome to my studio. My name is Siobhan and this is Art Skills Online. This is where I post videos about figure drawing. Today, I wanted to share a video with you about my process for contour drawing. For me, contour drawing is the other side of the coin to gesture drawing. And together, these two techniques of gesture and contour, I think represent a complete drawing approach. Contour drawing is almost like the polar opposite to gesture drawing where gesture drawing is very fast, dynamic, expressive, and responsive. Contour drawing is a much slower, much more considered, and more absorbed sort of approach. I thought I'd just tackle a drawing today, talk as much as I can through the process, and explain how you can really develop your contour drawing as a way to develop your way of seeing. For this drawing, I don't, I'm not going to measure anything. I'm not going to try and do sighting or proportion or anything like that. This is purely a visual exploration, if I can put it like that. It's purely based on what, what you're looking at. So the very first thing that you have to do to do a contour drawing is to try and establish in your mind that the thing that you're looking at or whatever it is that your eyes are sort of locked onto is completely connected to your drawing or your, your drawing, your pencil. So that connection is absolutely crucial. What, what I do is I'll put my pencil down on the page and I'll decide I'm going to start at the shoulder and work my way down. But before I do anything at all, I'll just look at that point for as long as it takes for me to kind of understand that what I'm looking at is connected to where my pencil is. In that way, if my eyes move forwards around the edge of the form, my pencil is going to move at the exact same time, I hope, or at least in as close coordination as possible. So once I've established that connection, I going to start to move the pencil as slowly as I move my eyes, which I'm trying to move very slowly around the outer edge, the back. So I tried as much as I could to, to talk while I was drawing, but I found it completely impossible to do that. So I'm just going to do a bit of a voice over here. But I keep this picture in picture thing going on because I think it's important to note how much I look at the reference or the model rather than at the page. As much as I can, I want to look at the reference image while my pencil is moving. And then when I stop moving my pencil, I'll quickly look down, check that I'm still in the right place on my page, and then I'll bring my eyes back over to the model or the reference image. At the moment, this drawing is in real time. I haven't speeded it up, haven't sped it up yet. I will probably do that. I just wanted you to get a sense of how slow the line work is and how sort of focused and concentrated this way of drawing really is. So I've pretty much drawn the outer edge of the model's back. At this point, I want to draw the inner contour line that the spine creates. The way the muscles of the back form, the different planes along each side of the spine creates a kind of an edge and the spine itself obviously travels up through the back. Tracing the spine in this way in a pose like this is actually a great way to describe the shape of the torso. we actually see a lot more of the right-hand side of the model's back rather than the left-hand side. And so placing that, the line of the spine, 
you know, correctly in there will really tell that to the viewer or give us a really good sense of how much of the back we're seeing. So I'm being quite careful to make sure that I'm tracing the spine very close to the outer edge of the left side. Right now I'm drawing along the shoulder, kind of figuring out where the shoulder is and I'm still drawing quite lightly, I don't want to commit yet too much but I know that now I've pretty much found the width of the torso. So I'm going to come all the way back down to about here. This is the side of the waist. In this pose the model's crouched as I said before and she's sort of hugging her knees up into her chest so this is that edge between the torso and the upper leg. This is the crease or the fold of the hips and then I'm using a cross contour line to find the outer edge of the leg and trace it back to where I was. So that's pretty much given me a really good sense of the entire shape, the overall shape of the upper body and now I'm going to try and draw the thigh, draw the leg to go up. So I'm just blocking in where the head is and the hair shapes and I might speed this section of the video up because it's not as important or it's not as crucial to the drawing as the rest of the body. So I also tend to not really focus on the face or the head too much. I'll just um, put this on two times the speed. I'll just uh, increase the speed so we can get through the drawing a little bit. At this point I'm now tracing the contour, outer contour of edge of the arm which is also the edge of the leg because she has her arms hugged around her legs. One thing that you do have to be very careful about when you're making cross contour lines is that you have to make sure your cross contours aren't simply straight lines going from one edge to the other or like perfect curves you know going around a cylinder. That's not really an observed line. The cross contour by definition has to follow the shape and more often than not there's dips and bumps along the way going from one edge to another. The cross contour line really should trace those dips and shapes faithfully. It's the only way that you'll be able to describe the actual shape of the forms. So you know keep that in mind it's key to doing a good contour drawing. Those are really the two main points that I wanted to make. One is that your pencil is connected to what you're looking at and to your contour lines, your, especially your cross contour lines, follow the actual shapes that are there. Not They don't sort of assume a smooth uh, side or a, or a straight line from one edge to another. They have to follow exactly the shapes that and the bumps that you see. And maybe a third point that I would make if I had to say one more really important thing about contour drawing, the more you look, the more you will see. This is really why you need to draw slowly and make this a very slow considered drawing because when you first look at something you'll think, oh, this is a really boring pose, it's just this, the model is crouched over and I can't see anything of the, the body at all and it's not a good, it won't make a good drawing. But I found that the more I looked at this pose, the more there was 
an awful lot going on and that only goes to show how much you do see when you start observing properly and when you get really connected into what you're looking at. So I wanted to suggest a good way to maybe think about contour drawing that might help you understand the kind of mindset or the way that you're thinking when you are drawing. It's almost as though you aren't really even drawing the pose or drawing the model. Like let's say what you're doing is more like really drawing or tracing the pattern of your eye movement. So your pencil moves in coordination with what your eye is looking at and how your eye moves across the forms and your pencil's recording that on paper. It's essential to be able to make really beautifully detailed observed drawings. I think if you focus entirely on the way your eyes look, you will be able to make a drawing that probably nobody else can do because no one else will actually see the thing the way you see it. Okay, well, so at this stage I'm starting to get into shading and shadow shapes and really all I wanted to do was uh, show you how to do contour drawings. So I think I'll leave it there and hopefully I've explained the process and the approach. Hopefully you've uh, got some useful information out of this video. I personally think that contour drawing is the best way to improve your drawing skills and it's also the fastest way for you to switch into a pure sort of drawing mode and really feel connected to your subject matter. So let me know in the comments what you think or if you've got any questions about this technique. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel so that we can stay in touch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll look out for you in the next video.